Oh my goodness, we're going in the door. I thought I saw something walking that was weird. Hey. Someone's talking. Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Maze, a game about talking corn and a bunch of other crazy stuff. So, guys, last video, we collected a bunch of clues. We're starting to put some pieces together, but we just, right at the end of the video, we just unlocked a new area to go. So, if you saw the previous video, you will have seen that we keep getting blocked off by these boxes. So, one of these areas opened up. We can go to the silo. Also, we turned on the power in the house. That's good. We got this disc. And I'm pretty sure this disc is going to be one of the pieces that we need to open that crazy door. Because uh, there's a door that needs unlocking. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for all your support. Hold the shift to sprint. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for all your support on the first video. We cracked over a thousand likes. Um, so guys, we are definitely continuing this series. Um, and if you want to keep seeing more... Uh, hit the like button or let me know in the comments. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipped item for clues. Yeah. Dude, that actually helped us big time last video. Okay, what is this? So this is brand new. But what does that say? Buck? 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 <laughs> what does that say? Buck? 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 Great kidney care. Oh, well, that seems strange. Dude, what's up with the fog? I'm a little scared to go in. Oh, I'm going in. Yeah, let's just examine the surroundings. Okay, the house is back that, that way. Okay, here we go. But yeah, at the beginning of the last video, we saw just a, a little peek of those corns running away. Right in style. Okay. Oh, that's the car. That's the car that we had by the house. Except it's broken down now. Okay, what do you think they kept in here? There's some chairs. Dude, these chairs remind me of like elementary school. Those are like the exact chairs I sat in. In elementary school when I was a little kid. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it doesn't seem there's like there's much in here. Is that a scale? Ooh. I keep pressing space to try to jump. I gotta remember. Okay, we got boxes. Yeah. That doesn't seem very special. Hay bales. Dude, why even go here? Why even go here? What's this? Oh, it's a bandsaw, I think. Or maybe. I don't know. Oh, here we go. We found something. A book titled. Corn of the World. Hey, Corn of the World, eh? Uh, book title, Corn of the World. A book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. <laughs> There's multiple chapters that discuss the color yellow? A few species are circled in red pen, while No, No, No appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Okay, well, that's not good at all. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Dude, there's nothing in here. Okay, <laughs> and guys, I gotta say, like, I'm loving this game, and I think it's gonna get crazy. Some of the reviews I saw, like I mentioned last video, people said this is like one of the craziest games they've ever played. So far, it's been pretty mild. We've seen some crazy stuff. <gasps> oh, one half of a diagram. Oh, that's good. Uh, we've seen, I don't know, maybe a little bit of crazy stuff, but I think it gets even crazier as we go. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Oh, that's what we need. Kind of. It looks very important. You tried to eat it. Why would we try to eat it? But change your mind when you couldn't find any salt. What in the world is up with our character? Our character is very strange. Okay, what's up with this? What's up with this? Reindeer. <laughs> it looks like a John Deere ad. It says reindeer. Okay, we got a broom now. Now we got a broom. I don't know what we'll need a broom for. Okay, anything else over here to look at? No. Boxes, pallets, uh, orange glove. Ooh, question mark. Ooh. Okay, that must mean something. <laughs> oh, question mark, bad, good. Okay, so they're not sure about this hay. hay. This hay is bad. There's a boot there. This hay is good. I don't know why. I don't know what's so good about this, hey? hey. I don't know. Okay. So, oh, look at this. A little, <laughs> look at that guy. That's a mullet. Okay. Um. So, they were getting some inspiration. Whoever was here was working out a lot. Okay. Bunch of hay bales. So, all we got was a broom. We got a broom and part of a thing. 
<laughs> right. Uh, what would we use the broom for? I don't know. What I do know is I want to take a look around. And then I do want to go to that door. I want to see if the CD... I'm pretty sure the CD goes in there. Oh, this is new, right? I think this is new. I think the CD is going to be the circular object that goes in that door. Dude, how many new places do we got? Because I think this is new, too. Okay, we'll check out that. Let's check out this first. What is this? Uh... Oh, silo! Oh, we haven't been in the silo yet! Lightning. Lightning this way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's check out the silo. That was the barn. Let's check out the silo. Oh, no. A padlock. Blast! Okay. Um, it... Oh! Dude, we got a bobby pin. Pick the lock! Yes! <laughs> we picked the lock, baby! <laughs> so, that was easy enough. I didn't know we knew how to pick locks. Okay. Okay, that music's kind of scary. What is this? A pile of corn kernels. Oh, what if we broomed them? We just broomed them. Cleared pile of corn kernels with broom. Ooh. Needle nose pliers. Guys, you know what we're going to do with this. This is what we do uh, use to get that thing stuck that was in the kitchen. There was something stuck in the kitchen. We're going to get it unstuck with the needle nose pliers. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Check it out. Though it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. Ew. The facility itself actually set on architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. What does it say? Why did we build all of this? Oh, no. Dude, these guys are absolutely crazy. I haven't even met them. Oh, wow. We just picked up a whole telescope? Ew. <laughs> Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. <laughs> That's not far at all! Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, what does that say? 00103. Well, let's remember that. No. C0103. Okay. Remember that. C0103. Okay. Dude, I'm remembering that. Okay, where else do we gotta go? There's so many new places. Can I go around the silo? No, can't go around the silo. <laughs> okay, so there's a new place by this barn, I think. And there was that electricity place too. So yeah. I think this is new. This might just be an alternate path that just leads us somewhere we've already been. But this, oh, we got a tractor. Yeah, this is new. We got a tractor, okay. Uh, propane tank attached to the tractor. That's very weird. And then more boxes. Dude, what's up with these boxes? What's on the other side of that? It looks like something steaming out of there. Okay. Hey, tractor. Hey, tractor. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can interact with a tractor yet. Okay, well, let's check out this lightning uh, situation. Yeah, lightning this way. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Stop pressing Q. I haven't pressed Q at all. <laughs> I haven't pressed Q at all. Ooh. Wow, this is very strange. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, this guy. This guy did. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Glove severed hand. We just picked up a glove severed hand? Okay, this just got real freaky. There's a stalk of corn. Oh no. What's this? A box. <laughs> a red box. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. A very fashionable fedora. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's, let's look at this stuff. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. <laughs> so what, I'm not fashionable? On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Okay, so this app belongs to Fernando. What is this? What is this? A charred name tag. Okay, it took several, took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near. 
and that his name is Fernando. I knew that. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Oh my goodness. So Fernando was a lab assistant. Uh, okay. He did. Wow. What was he trying to do with this thing? Can I do anything with this thing? I don't think I want to do anything with this thing. Dude, Fernando, what were you doing? Putting all these things on you. <laughs> Fernando's crazy. Okay, and then you got this this single corn stalk. Okay, well, I think we've explored everything we can at the electricity. Oh, okay, yeah, at the electricity thing. Let's uh, let's head back to the door. Let's see if let's see if this disc goes in that door. Okay, before we do that, we're back at the house. Before we do that, I bet you anything we use the needle nose pliers to get this thing unstuck. Okay, so let's break out those pliers. This has got to be it. Okay, a sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Let's unjam it. Yes! Warped key fob. Ooh. Pull warped key fob out of the sausage grinder. Not an ideal place for it. No. <laughs> I'd agree. Warped key fob. Yeah, that looks like that has DNA on it as well. This warped key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back. Oh, flatten it back to its original shape. At first, you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that will do the job much better. I do have a tool that will do the job much better. Uh, this is a tool that will do the job much better. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I know what we got to do. Oh, man, I'm glad I figured this out. We got to put it down on this table, I think. Put it down on this table. Yes! Oh my goodness. Keep up has been smashed good and flat. Guys, we're gonna do it. I think we have everything we need actually. To open that door, we needed a circular thing, we needed a handprint, and we needed a DNA thing. And we got all of it. I think we're I think we're all set. Okay, how do we get back there? I think it's this way. Uh yeah, yeah. This is the door. I think we have everything we need. I don't know if we're gonna need to take the glove off the hand, though. Hmm. I can't believe we picked up the hand. It's gotta be very unsanitary. Okay, guys, we're at the door. I think we have everything we need. Slot for a key. Circular slot. Oh my goodness! Slot for a hand. <gasps> no! No! We have a hand! Blast. Okay, what does the hand say? A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. <laughs> give yourself a hand. I see what you did there. Okay. Uh. Oh, no. So I got to figure out a way to get the glove off. Yeah, there's that car. It is definitely broken down. So, guys, I have an idea. Remember last video when we filled that sink up with rancid... Uh, what was it, corn oil? <laughs> Maybe we'll soak this in there to loosen it up. Oh my goodness, loosened glove from severed hand, slightly disgusting. I can't believe it. Dude, we are on fire. Okay, that is just really gross. <laughs> it, it's a severed hand and it was in rancid corn oil. <sighs> oh, that's real gross. Guys, I think we got this. Dude, this is huge going in this door oh my goodness we're going in the door oh I was gonna say the door almost got stuck what's that sound what's that sound hey hey someone's talking hey oh you must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter my <coughs> Goodness. My and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. Cornish I'm talking. riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Was Cornish. Was right, every no, I've actually I did been a bit unclear on the election. Oh, we should There's a lot of porn talking. <clears throat> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, 25 get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? 
Seven? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. <laughs> Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. The corn is talking. Yeah, the, the corn is talking. Yeah. What did he say? Ten people get on, and then the second stop, five people get on, and then the third stop. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Uh oh. You're all odd. <laughs> the third stop, 20, or, yeah, twice as many people as the first. So that was, well, that was unexpected. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. Bob. I told you to fix this ele elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Okay. Ted and Bob. Okay. A button. Let's press the button. Oh, I can't press the button. Four, three, two, one, zero. Press the button. I press the button. <laughs> okay. Please let me exit or something? Oh, what's this? A stale food pellet. You ate a stale pellet. Why would I do that? Six. <laughs> Is this an elevator or what? Oh. Oh, the thing got broke. Okay, the elevator's broken. How am I supposed to fix this? Okay, okay. Yeah, now, it's a riddle. Bob, I told you to fix the elevator weeks ago. Takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. <laughs> I, don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Oh. Okay. So you have to eat the food pellets to get the elevator to move, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this, ga this game is starting to get more weird as we go. Okay. Dude, this is the underground laboratory. This place is actually pretty cool looking. Look at this, man. This is a cool looking lab. What is this? A facility brochure. Okay. Welcome to something. The future is... Playing. A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child look alike. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Um, hmm. That seems like a safety hazard. Okay, Bob. Oh, dude. Bob P. McTavish. Honorary Lobby. Okay, so it must be Bob McTavish. We're learning more about the creators. That must be Bob McTavish. Oops. Okay, what does this say? Uh, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. I think they really spice up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Okay, what's with all the notes, Bob? You are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. <laughs> they mean to each other. So, okay, so there's Ted. Ted S. Something. M.M. Something. Co-founders. So there's Ted. There's Ted. And there's Bob, Bob McTavish, co-founder, a painted portrait. Ew, we can actually do something with the portrait? Not this one. Oh my goodness. It's like some kind of factory or something. Who's that? Did you see something walking that was weird? I thought I saw something walking that was weird. <laughs> it looked like it. Uh, oh, that actually scared me, that statue. It looked like a big pile of something. Okay. Bat room. So that's the bat room. Dude, this is getting crazy. This place is really cool looking, though. Okay. I can't see what's in those. Looks like some kind of weird growing something. Where'd that thing go? There's an X there. X marks the spot or something. Okay, here's another workout room. Man, they were really into fitness. I like that, though. That's cool. Treadmills and weights and stuff. 
Yeah, workout facility. Those TVs are kind of old-fashioned. I gotta make sure I know where I'm going. Don't want to get lost. Dude, look at these. <laughs> okay, man! Okay, sweaty headband. We pick up some gross stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's boxes here. We're gonna have to make our way through those eventually. Bar of soap that says soap on it. Okay. Oh, we found something. What is this? A nondescript rock. <laughs> so what if we found a mediocre rock and a nondescript rock? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't want to look at the toilet, but, you know, just in case. Oh, here's something. Here's something. A triumphant test report. Uh, the only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intel intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. What does that say? Potential something major breakthrough. Yeah, very triumphant. Why is that in the locker room, though? <laughs> Why are there so many lockers open? I can't imagine there'd be that many people who've been here. Okay. Let's just keep looking around. What was that thing that walks by? He went this way. I'm going to find him. I'm going to find that big old blob. Okay, this looks like the daycare center. I can go through these. I can't climb that. Hey, it's like a steak toy. Ooh, skill one, excellent. How did I do? Ooh, okay. Look at that smiling corn. So maybe they were making this as a, a, like a corn place that people go to visit the talking corn. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay. In the trailer of this game, we had a sidekick and he was a bear. I think that's him. Okay, before we try to interact with him, Let's, let's read these. Bob, you lazy buffoon. I know you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, halfwit. <laughs> well, you know, there may have been children at some point. Eventually. <laughs> okay. That's, there's a children's block. Okay. Children's block. It is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this guy. Teddy bear. Oh, teddy bear. A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Oh, my goodness. Dude, this is our buddy. We need to power him up. How do I power him? Ooh, intercom. Dude, a lot of this stuff just looks really old fashioned. Dude, this place, this place, I'm telling you, this is cool looking. We gotta make sure we see everything. Okay, what is this? A tour guidebook. Okay, guidebook of, it keeps bl blocking everything off. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant bats and mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. <laughs> okay. What is this? Gripotron. I just grabbed the Gripotron. Looks like every model, this Gripotron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. <laughs> kind of funny dude now we're talking look at this place dude there are so many things here old computer as his name suggests this computer is old you get a sense that it could use an upgrade and then you spend several moments trying to figure out what the word upgrade means that's a computer it looks like a keyboard to me there's a keyboard bob you disgusting slob don't you know how to read stop eating in here glutton uh dude that ted is a mean man he seems very like a mean guy Please, no food or drink. Yeah, well, I guess Bob wasn't reading that. Okay. Okay. Um. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> a power strip. I turned on the power strip. Oh, we put the thing on the thing. Okay, what does that say? What does that say? Um. Something. 27th. Ram system. 12. 
basic something something I don't know <laughs> Bob stop playing your stupid games on my computer it's going around with my AI experiments idiot <laughs> Ted could you be any more mean use item on old computer I wonder what item we would use none of these items okay so can we put the teddy bear here an item can be placed here teddy bear oh man okay what do we place here not the English muffin not the headband not the gripper John can I put the gripper John here gripper John goes here yes okay so guys we need to find two more items I don't know what this is oh that's like a backpack that's like a uh, something dude we're gonna put our buddy together that's gonna be our friend okay guys oh there's a couple more notes here um hi Ted the latest brochure came back from the press take a look I think it'll really boost the tour and you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted safety first Bob first you're an idiot that brochure is incredibly stupid second for the last time no tours <laughs> third if you're gonna go make this stupid brochure at least add my name to it we're co-research heads remember as in same title jerk <laughs> hi Ted really sorry but the final print has been done and sent off I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front <laughs> good job Bob do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old this is a top-secret facility where did you send those brochures more <laughs> so this is a top-secret facility nobody should be knowing about it and Bob is like making brochures and making it like a tourist attraction that's pretty funny okay okay well I think we've explored everything in here guys I think that's where we're gonna have to call for today dude hopefully next video we'll get our buddy Vladdy all put together and hopefully I can I can find that big blob thing I don't know um, but yeah dude this is crazy that's a lot of boxes <laughs> but guys thank you so much for watching like I said if you want to see more let me know in the comments or hit that like button it's the best way to let me know but dude I'm loving this. I hope you guys are too. If you are, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next maze. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Did you get a <laughs> and then that intense music. <laughs>